Guys, this is in your wonderful Wednesday pack. There's a blue piece of paper and it has some letters on it. And there's an orange letter dice. All right, we're gonna roll that letter dice and we're gonna find the letter on our paper. I got P, power up P. So I'm gonna look for P. I can do either my uppercase or my lowercase P. Let's see, I'm gonna do lowercase P. So I'm gonna start at the top, I'm gonna to pull down. I'm gonna push up and curve around. You're gonna notice that on this paper, we're gonna be tracing letters with tails. I'm gonna roll again. Oh, what did Mrs. Reagan get? Did I get G? G goes everywhere. Oh, there's a G with a tail. I'm gonna trace that. I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna circle back all the way around and then pull down and curve to the left. Good. Let's roll again. Oh, I got G again. I can do uppercase G. There it is. Start at the top. I'm gonna curve back around and slide to the left. Good job. Let's roll again. Oh, I got G again. Oh, there's Q. Quiet Q. There's my lowercase Q. It's got a little tail, doesn't it? That curves up. Start at the top, circle back all the way around, pull down, and curve up. Ha! I liked G for some reason. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got Q again. All right, let's do Q. Oh, here's uppercase Q. Start at the top. I'm gonna circle back all the way around and then slant down. All right, let's see. Oh, I got Q again. Oh, there's another Q. Let's track it. Start at the top, circle back all the way around, pull down and curve up. Good. Oh, power up P. I can do my uppercase P. Start at the top. Pull down, lift, come back up, and curve around. Good. Oh, I got J. Jumping J. There it is right there. It has a tail, doesn't it? Start at the top, pull down, and I'm going to curve up to the left. Come back up and got the spot. There you go. Oh, why? Why? The Y says, yeah. Sing that with me. The Y says, yeah. The Y says, yeah. Every letter makes a sound. The Y says, yeah. Good. Let's track Y. Start at the top. You're going to slant to the right. Lift, come back up, and slant down to the left. Good. Oh, got G again. Oh, there's Y. Let's do uppercase Y. Slant to the right. Slant to the left and pull straight down. There's G again. Boy, he really likes G. Oh my goodness. Have we done all the letters? Oh, I just need another jumping J. There we go. There we go. Start at the top, pull down, and curve up, and then slide to the right. Good, I think we got all, oh, all that, all those G's and I had an extra one here to, to trace. Curve around, pull down, and curve up. Good job, you guys. Hey guys, pull this out of your Marvelous Monday packet. At the top it says, Xenia the Zebra. And Xenia the zebra is holding a sign. What does the sign say? Yes, it says zoo. Xenia the zebra lives at the zoo. And she wants us to know that the Z says z. Z. Good. It's also our sleepy letter, isn't it? Sorry guys, I fell asleep there for a second.
Z is our sleepy letter. So we're going to look at this packet of papers from your Marvelous Monday folder. And what you need right now is your black crayon. Can you get your black crayon for Mrs. Reagan? Let's make some Xenia the Zebra stripes on our Z. You can make your stripes any way that you want. Any way you want. You can zigzag down your Z. You can make your Xenia zigzag stripes any way that you want. Looks like I needed one right there too, doesn't it? Good. Let's make some more Xenia zigzag stripes. There's no right way or wrong way to make Xenia zigzag stripes. You can even go back over. A lot of zigzag stripes on my Z's. Good. The Z says Z like in zigzag. All right, we're going to skip that page and go to the next page. Xenia, the zebra, loves to run in the in the grass and God made zebras very special God made zebras with stripes so that they camouflage so that their enemies can't see them in the in the tall grass where they live let's color our z's I'm going to color my z's black you can color your z's I'll let you color them whatever color you want these z's we're going to color black How are you doing with your coloring? Are you doing your very best with your coloring? Make sure you're holding that crayon the right way. Pointer and thumbkin side by side. Rest on tall man and two lazy men go along for the ride. Good. All right, go to the next page. This zebra needs to have some, some lines. We're going to trace, trace some stripes onto our zebra. So you start at the top, and slant down, start at the top, 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 slant down. Good. And then you want to take your pencil. I want you to trace those Z's. So once again, you're going to start, start at the top. You're going to slide to the right, slant down to the left, and slide to the right. Start at the top, slide to the right, slant to the left, and slide to the right. Start at the top, slide to the right, slant to the left, and slide to the right. Start at the top. Slide to the right, slant to the left, and slide to the right. Good job. All right. Once again, we have another zebra. And we're going to trace the letters in zebra. Z, E, here E says its name. E, B, R, A. Zebra. Good. Let's track Z. Start at the top. Slide to the right. Slant to the left, slide to the right. Let's let's do our E. Remember, you start inside on the E. No. Go straight out to the right, curve around, and stop. Let's do B. Start at the top, pull down, push up, and curve around. Let's do R. Start at the top, pull down, push up, curve around, make that little hook. And let's do A. Start at the top. You're going to circle back all the way around and pull straight down. Good. Z zebra. Z z z the Z says Z. And one final Z to trace here. Once you get your black crayon, we're going to start at the top. Ready? Slide to the right. Slant down. And slide to the right. One more time. 
start at the top, slide to the right, slant down and slide to the right. Awesome job, you guys. Way to go.